Hello friends, welcome to Solid Edge Drafting Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn Solid Edge Drafting VWizard command. Basically, VWizard command is used to place views on draft sheet. So let's start. We have few options or ways to place first view on sheet. So first option is open part. Then click on this application button. New and select here drawing of active model in the previous video we have learned that how to customize template for your company so we have customized one template and we will use this if we want to use another template just click on this browse and select different template from this view bar so we have two templates here one is isometric trap and one is custom template which we have created in last video so we will select this one click ok and ok now this is first view we have got here on the draft template just scroll down or up to increase or decrease scale of this view just place this view move cursor to the right bottom or upper side so we have placed the views and one is isometric this is first way to place views so we will see second click on application button new now select here isometric draft template or custom template we will select custom template now click on view wizard and browse the part whichever we want so we want this base and click OK. Now place same views as per our requirement. And third option is new custom template. We can just drag from folder. So we have this solid edge drafting folder, and here we have two parts. So just select this and drag we can place these views so these are three ways to place first view on this draft template or draft sheet so i will close this one close this one we placed all the views in the sheet now we have some options so select any view here we have one option tab and here first option is show caption so we have these options if we want to show scale for this view so select this show scale we can see scale is added for this view and second is drawing view layout in this we can change and this front view into another view so this front view will be changed to top view click ok all other views will be changed with respect to this view because this is first view we have taken so we will change this to again front view Click yes and one more option in this we can set customize view as well so click on this custom and we can place view as per our requirement this is custom requirement we have some tools here for rotate pan so i have placed like this and close click ok now this will update like this custom view so change this again to the front view ok next option is view orientation we can change view orientation from this or isometric we will see this this will be bottom view if you want iso view primary whichever we want we can change from this view orientation next is scale we will see the scale for this isometric so select isometric view and here we have some standard scales if you want customize scale we can enter here directly like 1s to 3 
we have changed this to customize scale again we will take this into standard scale next option is properties click on this properties in general we have here sheet a to sheet its scale and here angle if we change angle to 45 degree it will rotate okay so it will rotate so we can rotate our view from these properties we will make this zero again and apply these are display styles in which all the tangent edges visible or hidden edges we can control from this this one so keep this all as it is we will not change anything in this other options click ok next option is modify boundary so click on this we have this boundary for this view if we drag this into on this view it will show only this one this part will be eliminated from this view we will see on the drawing yes again if you want to change just select view and click on boundary modify drag this into outside of this view update now it will show complete view so every view has its own band boundary and we can modify from this option next option is shading option so click on this we have here five options so if you want shaded with edges just select this and update we have shaded with edges here we can select for individual view or all views and next option is model color so use model color color update this now this is in wireframe we need to select this shaded now this is the model color so last option is lock position just select view and click on this lock position now this view will not move because its position is locked these two can move so this is v wizard command hope have you enjoyed this video in next upcoming videos we will learn auxiliary detail principle all these commands so for more updated videos please like share and subscribe channel thank you